Dear learners, in this session, we are going to incorporate the decision tree as a part of machine learning supervised learning algorithm through the open source client analytic platform, ensuring zero coding in this session. To start with, we'll have this machine learning model. So we are supposed to gather the we are supposed to gather the data, so we are going to have a data pool. From the data, from the raw data, the raw data is going to be transformed through data preparation. So the data cleaning, whatever data cleaning you like to perform, you can perform through column filter and the row, row filter. You can perform data transformation, that is pre-processing of data can be done in this data preparation. After that, the pre-processed data is going to subject it into machine learning modeling. So here we are going to categorize into three phases like model training, model optimization and model testing. So out of this we are going to focus on model training and model testing first and in later on videos we will see how to do this model optimization. And finally we are going to deploy it, we are going to visualize the output in the dashboard. So in the model training we are going to have this training set. In the model testing, we are going to perform with respect to the test set. So this is our overview of machine learning model. So after dragging and placing your CSV file into the flow, we are going to transform it. So we, all the data pre-processing will be done and then we are going to divide your data set into train model and test model, train set and test set. So we are going to use a node called partition node. Using partition node, we are going to partition your data into training set and test set. Then we are going to subject this training set into a train model and then we are going to perform test set for the apply model. So the applying for the apply model, we are going to subject this test set. Then based on this, uh, training the test set will perform some operations and we are going to predict it and we are going to ensure the prediction using the score node. The so first thing we are going to create the training set and the test set from the original data set. So uh, this is the train set. So we run the machine learning training algorithm on the train data to produce a predictive model. So we are training set you are going to a subject into trains model as I discussed in the earlier slide. Next, your test data, you are going to put it in the apply model. Then we are going to apply the resulting model to the test set to, to evaluate the performance. So model evaluations can be done through this uh, apply model. To start with, I'm going to consider the data set in the client platform itself. So you can take this data set uh, called adult.csv. So I have taken this adult.csv from this location of your client. So uh, in the C colon, wherever you just uh, downloaded or uh, installed your client work workspace, in that example folder, you could find um, in the basic folder, you could find adult.csv. So if you want, you can copy that and you can keep it in your uh, um, frequently used folder. So then we are going to start with, so first we are going to create this file reader. We are going to drag and place your adult.csv file. So it is your data reading. So read the adult data. <coughs> then we are going to work with this adult data only. Then we are going to include a color manager in order to differentiate uh, the color representations. Okay, so here we are going to consider the income uh, income value when it is less than or equal to 50k, and when it is greater than uh, 50k, we are going to represent in blue color. So these are the two uh, two colors we are going to take it for our consideration. So red color and the blue color. For the income of grade less than or equal to 50k, we are going to use red color and for income greater than greater than 50k, we are going to use blue color. So through color manager uh, node, we are going to ensure this, we are going to assign colors to the group. 
then we are going to perform data partitioning so your train set and test set classifications will be done using this node called partitioning node so you just go to your node repository and you just can see or you can take this partitioning node so here we are going to uh, randomly draw the data set with respect to training set we are going to have 80 percentage and for test set we are going to ensure with 20 percentage so upper part of 20 80 percentage will be alerted or uh, considered going, considered as a training set and the remaining 20 percentage of lower part is going to consider as a test set then the training part training set as i said we are going to train using decision tree learner so we have a, a, tool, a node called a decision tree learner so drag and place this decision tree learner and <coughs> we are going to train this set data set of train set your test set we are going to subject into the decision tree uh, predictor so for for training we have a learner so here uh, we are training it so that's what they have named it as a learner so decision tree learner so here it is going to use for prediction the test data is going to use for prediction so that's why they named it as a predictor so decision tree predictor and then the finally you can uh, see the score so it is used to compute a confusion matrix between the real and the predicted class okay so using a score node you can uh, analyze it so if you want to perform some statistics analysis you can uh, take the data set directly and you can perform a histogram graph or some mean and mean mean median uh, standard deviations all the statistics performance can be done using statistics node and if you want to visualize the display of the complete table after partitioning, you can uh, connect this and you can view this using interactive table node. So we have an interactive table node to visualize your uh, intermediate output. Then to visualize your final output, we are going to connect it to the plot. So here we are going to take a scatter plot. So this will be the complete picture of uh, performing this decision tree a supervised learning algorithm is a part of machine learning in this crime analytic platform. So as I discussed earlier, you drag and place this adult.csv into the fold, into the flow and you just right click or automatically this um, a flow or the table will be pushed into the platform. So here you could see the various um, columns, row ID, age, work class, and all these uh, details will be displayed. The complete structure of the table will be displayed. So the complete structure of the table will be visualized with its corresponding column with the row values. Uh, this will be visualized in the uh, overflow. So next you just um, drag, you just search in the node, node repository, the color manager, the node name is color manager. Then you just drag it and place it in the flow and connect your previous node that is a file reader node. The file reader node now will get connected with the color manager. So here you, you can select your column. So whichever column you like to uh, filter or assign color, you can select it. As soon as you select the column, the corresponding values, the filter value will be displayed here. So in the income column, the two prominent uh, uh, values associated with the income column are the less than or equal to 50k and greater than 50k. These are the two promising values associated for the income column. Similarly, if you take um, uh, the other columns, the corresponding values will be displayed in this nominal. Okay, so if you are taking, this is all about your character data. If your data is going to be a um, integer data, so here the minimum and the maximum value will be displayed. So during demonstration, I'll just show this range value as well. And you can assign the color here. So you can take a palette here. So you can click this palette and you can select the color. So you can, I have here, we have considered red and green or blue. So whatever color you wanted, you can select it. Even your color can be um, taken from swatches. So from swatches, you can take the color. So the more color, the more uh, variation of the color will be displayed in the swatches. So you can select any of these verticals. Your colors could be selected from any of these verticals and you just give OK. So just give confirm here. So we are going to apply the complete set to all the nodes, connected nodes, so give OK. Then right click it. So configuration of your uh, coloring color manages over. 
then then right click and I click execute so after execution you just again right click and then you can see a table with color so you just click this option table with colors so you could see the the colors associated with it so red color and the blue color so the income value whatever the income value is less than or equal to 50k it has been marked as red color and the color mapping of blue will be mapped for the greater than 50k so this is all about your color manager next our uh, task is we are going to partition your data set so uh, there is a node called partitioning node so check it in the node palette the partitioning node and then drag it and place it and connect your partitioning node next we are going to uh, divide your partitioning node we are going to configure the partitioning node so right click and configure here we are going to see <coughs> whether we are going to map for 80 percentage or 20 percentage so whatever percentage of data you are going to divide it you can classify here so even your absolute values also you can configure for example i want to concentrate on first 20 records or first 30 records the number of records can be absolute as well or even it can be a percentage so percentage mean the complete data set will be divided with respect to this percentage 80 percentage of the data will be associated with it okay then the selection can be of any uh, stated given uh, statement here so we can take from the top or it can be of linear sampling or it can be drawn randomly or a stratified sampling so uh, we can you can use a random seed as well so we here we are going to consider as draw randomly so that uh, all the different patterns of your data set can be trained so if you are going to consider the top uh, top value then certain patterns only will be uh, trained so in order to uh, train the complete data set in a greater manner uh, most of the analyst will go with draw randomly then you just click okay then again right click and execute <coughs> after execution you could see two classifications of the output can be visualized first partition and second partition so second partitions will be your train set and first partition will be your uh, sorry first first partition will be your train set and second partition will be your test set so you can see the first partitioning okay so the number of tables the rows they have taken us 26048 records the rows has been selected for this sample that is 80 percentage of your data set and for 20 percentage of the data set they have taken as 65513 records so this is your second partitioning and this is a complete record set of your second partitioning okay your trains uh, test set then on in order to uh, train the model you drag and place this decision tree learner so you you using this decision tree learner uh, node we are going to train the model so right click and configure so you can take which column you are going to configure and in order to identify the quality measure by default we will be using gini index in the decision tree gini index will help us to identify the purity of your data set Okay, um, so we are going to take this Gini index. Um, so if you want to specify with minimum number of records and the number of records used to store the view, you can uh, configure this. Else, you can leave with the default configuration. So then you can click OK. So in the PL PMML settings. Uh, the default setting was given as a uh, return last predictions the last predictions will be written if you want to return a null prediction you can select this option as well so here we are going to consider the last predicted output so we are going to select this last by default it will be configured with the last prediction then here you can select this option execute and open view so even you can select execute if you select execute then separately you can click this view option else if you want to view the output after execution you can select this option like execute and open view option so that um, the shortcut key for it is shift plus f10 the function key f10 
then you could visualize this is a complete decision tree structure for the given data set adult.csv file okay since it is adult.csv the relationship uh, all the relationship um, values so the, the wife the wife whose uh, whose income is greater than or equal to 50 because I'm, we are concentrating on income so the income value associated with this family members will be constructed as a decision tree here um, if you want to visualize the complete view in a, as a summary then you can click this option so click uh, decision tree view simple this option will give you the this structure the complete relationship of your uh, uh, given data set will be executed or it will be visualized here so this will be a summary if you want to see as a decision tree structure then you can click this view option so the next node is apply node um, apply the model so using decision tree predictor this using decision tree predictor we are going to um, predict for your test data so we are going to take this so the output of your um, I'll just show you so the output of the test data so one part of your test data has to be connected with this predicted node so the one part of the partitioning will be associated with a decision tree learner the other part of the partitioning we are going to take and we are going to connect it to decision tree predictor. So this is going to be a train set and this is going to be a test set. So here, uh, here also we are going to retain the same default configuration else if you want to change the maximum number of records you can change it. So I'm not going to change anything on it. I'm going to use the default configuration and then you can right click and execute and open view. So after clicking execute and open view, it will since there is a change in it, it, it will ask you like this. You just click yes to, to impact the changes in all the connected nodes to give continue. So then you can see this <coughs> output for the test data. Okay, so for test data, this is the the so output and for the training data we have seen the earlier output this is uh, to show the summary you can click the next option of uh, simple view to get this uh, view and in order to identify the uh, score values you can um, search the scorer node and you can drag it and place it and connect it to the apply model that is your um, predictor model so it is used to compute a confusion matrix between the real and the predicted class values. Okay. So here, if you want to uh, select which column we are going to select it for the scorer. So by default, income will be configured. You can keep this. If you want to change your column value, you can change as well. Then right click and open views. So you could see this is the um, accuracy achieved. So for uh, less than or equal to 50k, so these are the score values and for greater than 50k these are the score values for the test data. So uh, there was uh, a statement here so correct classified and accuracy is 83.94 percentage and the Cohen uh, kappa value is 0.54 and there was an error of 16.06 all this complete uh, uh, details about the test data will be given here using the score analysis. Then if you want to perform some statistics uh, analysis, you can use this node called statistics node. So this statistics node, whatever uh, node we are going to take it, you can include and exclude appropriately. So I have excluded these values and we have included these values for our analysis. Then you just click OK. So we are going to produce the output, uh, it will produce the output in histogram format and if you want to show a minimum or maximum values you can click this. Then give, just give ok and execute and open view. So you could see this will be the statistical values of the given data set. So the minimum value, the column name followed by the minimum, mean, 
median, standard deviation, the maximum value, skewness value. So everything will be displayed. And uh, since I selected uh, uh, the minimum and the maximum value display of the histogram, so even that will be displayed here. So this is all about um, your statistics node. So even without, uh, if you are not enabling this node, if you are not enabling your show your minimum and maximum value, then your output will be like this in the histogram. So minimum and the maximum value will not be displayed. So statistics node is uh, done. And finally, we are going to visualize the output. So you can connect your output to your scatter plot. So any plot you can connect it so that you can visualize your output. If you want to see the intermediate data set, you can um, take this interactive table node and you can see the intermediate, uh, the test data can be viewed. So any intermediate table can be viewed using this interactive table model. So we are not, I'm not going to configure anything onto it. So you can take the default uh, functions. So for scatter plot, uh, you can take which column is going to be a column axis. So choose a column for x axis. So I'm going to take age as a column and choose a column for y axis. So I'm going to take hours per week as a uh, column for y axis. So you can select your column for x axis and y axis appropriately for the scattered plot. Then using the axis configuration, you can uh, label for your x axis and y axis. Okay. So if you want to change your format, date format, you can do this date format. So uh, next is general plot option. In the general plot option, you can give the chart titles, chart subtitle. So all this configuration, you can do it for the given chart. And even you can change your background color, and the date, area, color, grid color. Even you can change these colors as well. So finally, you can give OK. So this is the background color I just uh, taken and I have changed it. Then I execute and open view. So you can uh, see this scatter plot. So I have given the title as family classification and the name as a family tree and this is the scatter plot for this. So let us see a small demo. Let us see the demo on this supervised learning algorithm with the zero coding. So as I said earlier, you just drag and place this adult.csv. So uh, your file reader node will be popped. So you can right click and you can um, see the table. So this table contains these columns like age, work, work class, everything. So here we are going to concentrate on this uh, um, in on this income column. So greater than or equal to 50k and less than uh, so less than or equal to 50k and greater than 50k. We are going to classify your uh, data set here using this. Uh, uh, column node called income. So then you just go to the node palette, node repository, search for color manager. So color manager node will be available here. Drag it and place it here. Then right click your color manager and configure. So you can uh, select this column. So here I am selecting an income column. So the default uh, um, Promising values associated with the income will be displayed here. Just less, greater than or equal to 50 or uh, less than or equal to 50 or greater than 50k. So these are the two promising values associated with the income column. So if you take any other column like relationship, you can see the husband, not in family, other lady, own child, unmarried, wife, wife. Uh, so these are the various columns asso associated uh, or values associated with this column called relationship. So you can change the color by selecting it. So you can change any of this color by selecting it appropriately. So now uh, if the column contains only values, only integer values, so let me take it for hours per week, in that only the range will be produced. So the promising ranges are minimum is equal to 1 and maximum is equal to 99. So uh, let me consider the same income value, income column. So in income col column, you can change the values, colors if you want. If you want to change the color, you can change the color as well. Okay. So you can take it from the sketches. 
or you can take it from uh, swatches. Okay. Then give OK. Then give OK. So after associating its color, you right click and execute it. So now the node will be changed to green. So you can check the color with the table with color option. Table with color option, just check it. So these are the, so for the income values, less than or equal to 50, it was, it is pink color. For the income greater than 50, it is red color. So color manager work is done. Then you just search for partitioning. Check for the partitioning node in the node repository. So there is a partitioning node. Drag it and place it here. Then right click it. Configure. So you can select this configuration. So you can set it for 70% or 80% so or whatever value you would like to give it for the data set. So we are going to keep the values 80 here. Even you can select this absolute. So you can select the values, the number of rows, absolute values, the exact values also you can associate with it. Else you can select for the percentage. So percentage signifies out of the complete data set, your 80 percentage will be uh, considered for your train set and the remaining will be considered as your uh, test set. That is first partitioning with 80 percentage and second part remaining set with the uh, second partitioning. Then you can uh, select either of this option, take from top or linear sampling or draw randomly. So most of the scientists will be uh, using this draw randomly in order to train the complete data set meeting, uh, required to meet the uh, train uh, test set. So give OK. Then right click, execute it. So after your execution, the, the status of your uh, node will change to green so then right click again then you can see the first partitioning first, first partitioning with this record size of 26,048 records of 80 percentage of this and the second partitioning right click and check for second partitioning the remaining rows will be taken out and it is set for the second partitioning so we are going to train with the income uh, income node so income column now uh, just search for decision decision tree search for decision tree so decision tree has uh, various uh, nodes associated for it out of that we are going to select this decision tree learner so drag it and place the decision tree learner here then right click it and configure so the column name we are going to we are going to train for income income column so keep this income column and we are going to use this Jenny index Jenny index is a uh, quality measure which help us to identify the purity of your uh, data set so uh, by default it is Jenny index and uh, gain ratio is also there okay so we'll go with Jenny index and uh, other thing you can keep it for the as a default collections or you can change the minimum number of records and max number of uh, records to store the few views. If you want, you can change it. Then you OK. Then right click. So after configuration, now the state the status of the node has been configured as with yellow. So now we are supposed to execute it. So execute and open view. Click execute and open view. Now the node will be changed with the green. And this is the complete decision tree. We have been trained for the income. Uh, column. Since it is uh, a column with the adult uh, data set, okay, so all the complete data set for the not in family, husband, bachelors, so all this complete uh, structure for you could see it. So you can even reduce the zoom you can see this complete structure as well okay so zoom size also you can reduce it again you can change see it so that's all about a decision tree learner so now we have trained the data set for the income no, or income column next uh, you can drag it and place this decision tree predictor drag it and place it 
here you are supposed to connect with two input leads. One input lead will be connected with the output of the decision tree learner. So that is the place where we are training the data set. The output of the training data set should be connected as an input to the train uh, decision tree predictor. And for the other input, you are supposed to connect the test data. So the, now the test data is going to be get predicted for the training happens with this training set. Okay, so it's very, very important. You are supposed to connect the output of the decision tree learner with the input of the decision tree predictor. And the other uh, input will be your test data. So now it will be, uh, the test data will be uh, getting with the help of the trained data set. It will get tested and the prediction is going to happen. So right click it and then give configure. So you're not going to change anything. It you can keep the default value. Then you just execute and open. So now you can see the output of your decision tree for the test data as well. So the relationship for the wife, husband, own child, everything will be visualized here. Then you can click close to then to visualize the to visualize the output in terms of its accuracy, you just search for scorer node. There, was a, there is a scorer node, you just select it and drag it and place it in the flow. Then connect the output of your decision tree predicted uh, to the input of your scorer node. Then right click, configure. So we are going to show the output for the first uh, income column. So I am not going to change anything onto it and then give OK. Default selection, so execute and open view. So it gives you the predicted values or scorer value of this. So it says the corrected, uh, corrected classified as 5456 5, 5, records and accuracy achieved is 83.77, so 0.771 and Bokhan Kappa's value is 0.534. So all these values, error ratio is 16.229. So all these values with associated for this test data pertaining to the trained data set will be displayed here through the score model. So we have uh, completed this decision tree analysis uh, for this uh, supervised learning algorithm of the machine learning without zero coding. So this Knight analytic platform will help us to perform this. No coding happened with us. So in order to perform some statistics analysis, we have a statistics tool. So you can search for statistics tool there was a node called statistics so drag the node and place it here then to configure it you just right click it to configure so the, on the options uh, you can select which are the nodes which required for your um, statistics analysis okay so manual selection you can do it you can uh, exclude and include appropriately you can select it and you can include it okay else you can select it and then exclude it Okay, so corresponding data you can follow, you can include and exclude. Uh, then you can uh, configure for the histogram as well. So the format of the histogram can be can be PNG or SVG. And if you want to show the minimum and the maximum values, you can click this and you can give this OK. Then right click it, right click the node, execute and open view. So the complete structure of the statistics data will be visualized here. The minimum values, the maximum value, mean and the median, the maximum value, standard deviation, skewness value, the histogram graph with the minimum values and maximum values displayed here will be displayed. If you want to see, if you don't want to visualize the minimum and the maximum, again you can click configure can change show you can discard the show minimum and maximum value then you can it just execute and open view so now the same data but without in minimum and the maximum value will be displayed here so this is the output of the statistics 
if you want to visualize any uh, in intermediate table, then you can uh, use this node called interactive table. It will give the complete uh, structure of your table. So now if, I, if you want to see the output of your uh, test data, so you can draw, connect it using this interactive table. This, But this is an optional. If you want to visualize it, you can visualize it using this node. Uh, then finally, you can visualize the output of your uh, decision tree predictor by connecting to a scatter plot. So the output of your decision tree, now it get connected to the scatter plot. So right click your scatter plot and configure it. So here you can give the char chart title. So I'm giving the chart, chart title as income classifications on age and subtitle age versus hour. So in the general plot option, you can give this options like chart title and chart chart title. If you want to change the background color, you can change the background color as well. And if you want to change the text color, data, data area color, you can change it. If you want to change the grid color, you can change the grid color. Okay, then access configuration, if you want to change uh, x-axis value, age data on the x-axis value and in the y-axis value, uh, hours data, so those things also you can configure it. Then right click it, execute and open view. So it gets executed, it will take a few seconds for execution and the output will be visualized soon. So this is the output. takes little much time when compared to the other plots or the other outputs. So this is the complete scatter plot. So income classification, age for hours, hours, hours data, age data or everything will be displayed in the scatter plot. So uh, that's all. So now we have uh, created a supervised learning algorithm such as the decision tree with the decision tree learner and the decision tree predictor of the machine learning uh, concept uh, without uh, coding. So with zero coding, we have done this analysis. Thank you so much.